hey friends welcome to another video lesson with sadan in this channel what we do what i do is to prepare students for exams for jam wayek gce neko just mention them including their secondary school exams way down to their university exams also okay in this video i'm going to be guiding you on how to go through your economic syllabus effectively in 50 days yes when i say in 50 days i am very very sure in 50 days it is going to be possible to go through all this and finish up with all this topic economics is not that heavy like some other subjects like government and all that okay so without wasting much time let me tell you how to use this how to use this video effectively to work out very well for you but if you know you are new to this channel please i would advise you subscribe to the channel i advise you like the video and share with your friends also if you find the the content here very helpful okay so how can you use this video to be very effective get a pen and a book okay and then go through the video write down the daily plans write down the day, day one where you're, to, where you're supposed to study day two where you're supposed to do even the days you have break our advice you still write them down now in case you cannot write them down you don't you cannot get a pen and the book our advice you just go through the whole the, the video very well and finish up to know the whole plan to see how i scheduled the studies and then on a daily basis our advice you log in and check what you have for each day i would advise you check here you come here and check what you have for each day i said login come here and check what you have for each day so you check here on day one okay i have this topic you go and study check day two i have this topic you go and study and so on and so forth so that is how you can use this effectively now concerning the days there are some days you might not finish up with the topic okay don't worry i would advise you leave that topic like that make sure the part of that topic you studied you actually studied very well the next day continue with the new topic yes there are breaks in between okay there are breaks you have some of this you have two days break you have three days break you have one day break now on that day of break i would advise you now go back to that topic and study very well but the break normally is supposed to be for rest and revision so for example let's yes it's supposed to be for rest and revision so if you have been meeting up good for you you use the day of break to revise another way you can treat you can work with this video and i prefer and i think this one is better now is by transferring the topic to the next day make sure it is not a habit if it is a habit you are already a failure so any day you cannot meet up with any topic, I would advise you continue the next day. Try as much as you can to finish up so that you can study the topic for that particular day. Why am I saying this? Some days have a very light and weak topics. There are some days I can even give two days for one topic. I know I'm doing that. If I'm saying two days for one topic, I know I'm doing that. So you can have space to cover up with other topics you, you must have been... You must have issues with or some topics you've not um, finished with i hope you get what i'm saying so these are the fact i prefer you do this one okay try your possible best to meet up with the timetable with the target but when you cannot finish a topic in a day you can continue the next day please be time conscious that now you are now late if you understand all this i've said then let's hit it guys so without taking much time we will start the first topic you'll be looking at is economics as a science so here you'll be you will need to understand the basic concepts all these definitions like want scarcity choice scale of preference opportunity cost rationality production distribution consumption and all that so take your time to do this, this is what you do on the first day that is day one and then on the second day, I would advise you look at um, economic systems. Mm, I think I will, I will not be doing much shuffling for economic syllabus. I notice the way it is presented here is, is okay to follow, but there's, there's some shuffling I will do. So economic systems, you learn about types, free enterprises, types where you have free enterprises, centrally planned, 
um, mixed economies and all that so social just you can see them here this is what you do on the second day take your time to study this on the second day and then on the on the third day you go over to the theory of demand so that's what you do on the third day the theory of demand so you need to understand the meaning and determinants of demand demand schedules and curves you need to know different types of curves when it's curved upward when it's curved downward what it means so this distinction between change in quantity demanded and change in demand this is very important every textbook has this okay most economic students don't know that there's a difference between change in quantity demanded and change in demand so types of demand you talk about composite derived you just take your time so this is what you do on the third day and then on the look at your objectives identify the factors that determine the de um, demand okay what can make people to say please we need pampas we need pampas we need this particular goods over and over again okay on the fourth day you're looking at the theory of consumer behavior so this is what you're looking at on the fourth day um you're going to use two days for this one okay two days for this yeah you're going to use two days for this so the theory of consumer be, um, behavior so this will, you will do this on the fourth and fifth day so on the fourth and fifth day you will do this so when you talk about utility indifference curve so in case you do not meet up, there are some topics you're not you've not covered you can still shift them to this day and cover up so you have two days on the fourth and fifth day theory of consumer behavior and then i think you're going to have your first break okay just a day break so this day you have to do a general revision go through everything general revision okay go through everything and get ready for the next topic and then when you're done with your break you are going to look at this topic here where is it now we're going to look at oh i saw it somewhere yes yes okay you'll be looking at this topic now methods and tools of economic analysis okay so here you're going to have your first mathematics calculations uh you you have tables ah there's some topics missing here uh, here look at all this uh, measure of central tendency okay so since most art students will be, are, are actually weak in mathematics okay since most art board is not supposed to take you a day it's supposed to be just one day but since most art students are weak in maths i'm going to give you three days for this I just have to do it because i've been, i have i've taught economics i know how um, art students struggle with solving but there if you if you are good enough and you can catch up with all those median formulas all those stuffs and all that you can finish up the topic please do and move on it will buy you time okay good so let's do that so on this day seven day eight and day nine you should be looking at methods and tools of economic analysis that will be doing in three days so down to day nine okay and the next one you should be looking at is the theory of supply on the 10th day the theory of supply on the 10th day so the theory of supply is what we're looking at on the 10th day okay meaning and determinants of supply supply schedules and supply curves the distinction between change in quantity supplied and change in supply types of supply and all that so on the 10th day this is what you're looking at <laughs> okay and then on the 11th day you should be looking at the theory of price determination that's on the 11th day so here you would have to learn about the concepts of market and price functions of the price system equilibrium of price it's true there are some calculations here equilibrium of price and quantity in product so some calculations here let me see explain the concept of this effect of government interpret the effects of changes supply and demand equilibrium price yes there is just some calculations here so you do this on the 11th and 12th day 11th and 12th day and then you are going to do this on two you're going to take two days for this to the theory of production so you're going to use the 13th and 14th day for the theory of production so you have putting and types so 13th and 14th day take note for this take your time to go through, look at it very well 13th and 14th day 
So after that, you're going to have a break. On the 15th day. 15th and 16th day, you're going to have a break. And then when you're done with the break, on the... Yes, that's why I said this syllabus is straightforward. I will not be doing much shuffling. I like the way it is organized. So, 15th and 16th day, your, your break. Then on the 17th day, you'll be looking at the theory of cost and revenue. So, the theory of cost and revenue. Yeah, you will need to do some of all those tabular stuff. But if you've done this one before, you've done this one, there are some similarities between that one and this one. So, this is what you'll be doing. The theory of cost and revenue on the 17th day. And then the next thing you'll be looking at is market structure. So, you'll be doing this one on the 18th and 19th day. So, perfectly competitive market, imperfect market, break even and short analysis in the viewers market. Okay. So, you'll be doing this one on the 18th and 19th day. I think so. Oh. Well, I'm not making another mistake. 18th and 19th day. So, this is the objective you have to cover, analyze the assumptions and characteristics of perfectly competitive markets. So, 18th and 19th day. Uh, and then you'll do this one in one day, national income in one day. Yes, it's going to be a little bit heavy, but go through it. I know what I'm doing. You know, some topics are lighter, some topics are heavier. Okay? Yes. Those lighter ones will buy you time. Okay? Or help you cover up other topics you've not finished. So that's the concept also. But I'm using an average student. Yes, I'm using an average student standard for all these um, time allocations. Yes. So if you are not very strong, that is when it will not look like it is heavy for you. Okay. But an average student should finish this particular topic in one day. National income in one day. No calculation here. Look at what you have to cover on the 20th day. And on the 21st day, and money inflation, all this stuff. You're supposed to do this thing, so okay. Let's have a break. You're gonna have a break or one day break on the 21st day. So, the first day, you're gonna have just one day break, and then after that, on the 22nd day, you're we'll looking at money and inflation. So, you have to talk about types of types, characteristics, and functions of money, demand, all this. And also, on the 22nd day, just do it money and inflation. Uh, Okay, on the 22nd, that's what you do. On the 23rd day, what you do is financial institution. It's just like a continuation of money and inflation. So, yeah, I'm going to give you two days for this one. So, on the 23rd and 24th day, you'll be doing financial institutions. In case you do not finish up with money and, 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 and uh, what is it called? Money and inflation. Is it money and inflation? You can continue from this day. So, on the 23rd and 24th day, you'll be looking at this topic financial institutions. On the 24th and 20, 23rd and 24th day. On the 25th day and 26th day, you're still looking at money, money, matatu. So, this is public finance. 25th and 26th day, you're looking at public finance. 25th and 26th day, you're looking at public finance. On the 27th and 28th day, you're looking at economic growth and development. 27th and 28th day, let me say something, meaning and scope, indicators of growth and this factors affect, no, 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 27th is okay, 27th day, we looked at economic growth, growth and development, 27th is okay, economic growth and development, um, then on the 20th day, you should be looking at agriculture in Nigeria on the 28th day, it's a very short, brief, interesting topic, on the 28th day, you'll we'll be looking at agriculture in Nigeria. This is what you have to cover. Please, I want to be trying my best to make sure the videos are as short as possible. So, I'll be faster. I expect you to be seeing what to cover on the screen. I expect you to take a pen and write down. And so, on the 28th day, you'll we'll be looking at agriculture in Nigeria. And then, on, you're going to, I think you should have, you should have a break. We've had lots of topics already. So, you're going to have another break on the 29th and 20th day. On the 29th and 28th day. And then, starting out again on the... Sorry, did I say 29th and 20th day? 29th and 30th day. So, on the 31st day, we should be looking at industry and industrialization. You're going to use two days for this, for this um, topic. So, 31st and 32nd day, 
you will look at industry and industrialization 31st and 32nd the industry and industrialization this, these are what you have to cover and then on the 33rd day you, sh you should look at um 33rd and 34th you should look at all these um, natural resources and the nigerian economies this is what you have to cover also and then on the 35th day you have to look at private enterprises so you have to look at all these kind of uh, business organizations on the 35th day one day is okay uh, although you need to, for each of them you need to learn about their demerits their advantages and all that see Okay, you used to do this for this call, for this um, topic. So, 35th and 36th day, you should be looking at business organizations. 35th and 36th day. And then, you're going to have a day break. Okay, on the 37th day. So, on the 37th day, you're going to have just one day break. And after that break, on the 38th day, you will have, you look at population in one day. On the 38th day, you should be looking at population. On the 38th day, you should be looking at population. 38th to 4th, um, 39th and 40th day, you should be looking at international trade. 39th to 40th, 40th day, you should be looking at international trade. This is what you have to cover there. 39th to 40th day, you should be looking at international trade. Um, then... The 41st day... <laughs> This topic, um, government students we have little advantage here, sir. Okay, just do in one day. <laughs> International economic organizations, one day should be enough for this. Yes, so on the thirty first day. So on the forty first day, this is what you'll be doing. On the forty first <laughs> day, okay, and then you should have a break, two days break. So on the 42nd day, you have your break. After that, you're looking at factors of production and their theories in one day. Because you just came back from break, so your brain should be relaxed and free. And that will be on the 43rd day, right? Factors of production and their theories on the 43rd day. Is it for the third day? Is it for the third day? Yes, factors of production and their theories. You can use two days, 43rd to 44th day. Factors of production and their theories, okay? And then, when you're, that, when you're done with that, you can start afresh from the 45th day down to the 50th day do a thorough revision just read as fast as you can revise your notes revise what all you you jotted down and all that and i think that will be all for economics in 50 days maximum 60 days if there's any um, lapses or, or whatsoever okay you should be able to cover this subject in 50 days thank you for watching and god bless you expect more videos from me thank you